Aurelia here. I finally finished my project. It's the first one that I did with the Knit Crate box that I got with the Titmouse yarn. So I got the one skein of yarn and I made it into a cake and I did the pattern that they suggested. Um, I'll show you which one. So I did the Solanel pattern. I think I said that right. And it's actually it's that one there. And I did a bit of a looser weave than they did in the picture there. So um, like you can tell on this spot here, it's a bit of a tighter weave and mine I did a bit uh, looser altogether. So I ended up not actually being able to do the whole pattern as they had it marked out in the magazine. I could only do about three quarters of it, two thirds maybe, um, just because of that looser weave. So I ended up, um, having to do the end stitch a little earlier than what the magazine recommended. So that kind of bumping stitch, pico, I think it's called, pico stitch, something like that. Um, yeah, I did a bit early, so it looks a bit different than what they have in the magazine, but that's okay. And that's how, that's how it looks. It's kind of long. I don't know if it's this long also, I don't know if it was intended to be that long when they made the design, but um, again, I did a looser stitch, so that's how long it is for me, and I haven't blocked it yet, I don't know. I've never blocked anything before, so I don't really know how. So I thought I would first show my progress of it and my completion of it before I block it, just in case that somehow ruins everything. <laughs> this way I can show that I did do the full thing, and I have to learn how to, um, I don't know, how to wear it. I've never worn a triangle-shaped shawl or scarf before, but there you have it. Finished, complete, shawl. <laughs> I hope you guys like it, and I hope you enjoyed uh, kind of how I made this video with all of the kind of clips put together on the making of it, and then showing it off for the final product. So yeah, if you guys are interested at all in this kind of yarn or this company, um, it's the Knit Crate subscription box that I subscribe to. So you get once a month yarn and patterns. And yeah, this was March. I had to think about that for a second. This one was March. And hopefully I will have another one ready to show in a few weeks for the April yarn that I got. So we'll see, that's my next project I'm gonna start on. So thanks for joining me, you guys, and I hope you have a great weekend. And I'll talk to you later, bye.